What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. As you can see, we are going over another solo lost sector for you guys in the perdition for the Europa lost sectors here. Now before we get into this one again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. We are almost to 500 subscribers and as a thank you, I am going to be doing that little giveaway for like two of my subscribers with a $5 Amazon gift card. Maybe Make sure that you guys are subscribed and comment on the videos that way i can pick with a randomizer from the comments once we hit 500 i will compile all the comments from about 5 10 15 videos anybody that has commented and wants to be a part of the giveaway and is also subscribed so just that's a thank you from me to you guys around the holidays just saying thank you for the crazy support this year and now let's get into the video so like i said we are doing the partition lost sector as you can see we are dealing with barrier and overload champions now the shields we have to deal with are arc and void now if you don't know where the lost sector is you can load into either varix over here at sharon's cross Crossing, or up in the event tide ruin and then head to the lost sector here within the Cadmus Ridge. Now going over loadouts for weapons I have a few different options I think for you guys just based on the shields and what we have modifiers this season. So first off this build right here I'm going biting winds for our overload champions then we have sorrows verse this arc auto rifle this thing burns through shields for anti-barrier and you have rampage so it does a little extra damage and then we got our void shield breaker right here in our vorpal weapon threaded needle so this will absolutely shred through those champions as well as the boss at the end so another option that i have right here we're going wither horde for that ad clear actually and a little dps because this thing is pretty banging just as a weapon in general we are sticking with the sorrows verse auto rifle for those arc shields and anti-barrier and then we're actually going falling guillotine because of the void shields and we can have overload on this sword plus with passive guard perfect for staying alive in this lost sector especially on the master version now my last option for gun loadouts here, we're going the Chroma Rush Auto Rifle. I've used this thing in some past videos, burns through that anti-barrier shields, great, great auto rifle in general. Then we're going the Trinity Ghoul Arc Exotic Bow here. You can get a lot of chains with this arc to clear out those shields and add clear. This thing will be perfect for stunning the overload champions as well. And then finally right here, we are going Threaded Needle just because particle deconstruction this season and with Vorpal, this thing's going to to map all of your champions and that boss super quick. Now for Arc Titan, as you can see, we are going Middle Tree Striker here with Thunder Crash for those Arc Shields and Curios of the Falling Star chest piece. So when we do get to the boss and we have our super, we can shoot it a couple times with our threaded needle and then just super on it and it'll blow up easy peasy clear. Then you can grab your chest and get your exotic. For Hunter, once again, I am gonna run Top Tree Night Stalker for that dodge to go invisible and tether with six coyote so we can have two dodges. That's just for those ad clears, ad management, and then also you can deal with void shields if you get in trouble with the super or with your abilities. For Warlock, I'm actually gonna go bottom tree Stormcaller for that landfall. Mix that with this Storm Dancer's Brace, this chest piece. As you get defeats with the Storm Trance, you get increased damage and you get super at the end of your Storm Trance. So pairs super well, great for ad clear in this lost sector with those arc shields. Plus if you use this on some of the champions or the boss, you are able to get a nice damage by clearing out adds first and then doing damage on your boss or champions with this chess piece. All right, so when you first come into the lost sector, you are gonna have to deal with the arc harpies. They aren't too bad to deal with and you're gonna have a nice orange bar hydra. Use your wither horde or maybe your threaded needle to take care of it. It will teleport away and start going up these stairs once you do enough damage on it, but it is actually super easy to destroy before it starts working its way up these stairs. Now, in the master version, this right here, this Minotaur, will be an overload, so be prepared for that. But right here in this lost sector, he is just going to be a void shield, so we can use our falling guillotine and wipe him out. 
Once these guys spawn, you will have to deal with the actual overload Minotaur coming up. Like I said, in the master version, there will be an extra one. So deal with him as soon as you can because they do a lot of damage. Clean up this room with your auto rifle and then you move on to the next area. In the next area, again, it's about the same in all seriousness. Just a bunch of goblins that spawn as well as an anti-barrier spawns up here with your boss so we move up these stairs right here and start clearing out our enemies we run into another overload champion pull out your sword and disrupt him you are good to go falling guillotine he is donezo now be careful for the fanatics and they drop the vex milk because if you do stand in it especially in the master version it is going to do quite a bit of damage on you so be careful for that i wasn't paying attention and i died to the anti-barrier so just don't get too involved because these wyverns will spawn but just use your wither horde get them cleared out you know make sure you actually hit your shots unlike me and clear out the things that are going to hit you the hardest within this lost sector here now again we got our void shields to take care of another wither horde for this guy right in the face good to go Moving on to the boss, you will have a bunch of harpies that spawn with these arc shields, so you can make sure you can deal with them real quick. Once you deal with the lot of adds, the boss is open for DPS, and he is pretty spongy, so you can kill him pretty quickly in all seriousness. Pull out your sword and use that passive guard to your advantage. Look at that. Do a falling guillotine spin and bada bing, bada boom. You are done. You can collect your cash code. That's the end of the lost sector. Don't even need to wipe out the final enemies because there are no more champions remaining. So we got our champion platinum reward as well. Nothing to worry about. Some ads you can clear up if you want. But the Lost Sector is technically over and you are done and good to go. You collected your loot. I accidentally died once in this. Not too crazy of a Lost Sector in all seriousness. There's a lot harder ones out there. Some on the moon that are definitely difficult. Even the Concealed Void here on Europa. So that was it. Four minutes in and out on the Legendary version. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Grind out this Lost Sector. Get that exotic gear for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.